Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome entry-level travel trailer, perfect for couples, made by Grand Design. This is a 2021 Grand Design Transcend Model 200 MK. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Transcend and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a Grand Design Transcend. These have been so hard to locate around the country, so I'm super excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's going good, and I'm here with Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hey, everybody. How are you? Bruce is the boss. <laughs> Happy to have you back. Thank so, you. So what's going on? Yeah, so we're here in Michigan. We're in Grand Rapids. Right? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, and this is a store that Bruce is working at for this week, so we figured we'll do another video with him. Yeah, you guys loved him the, uh, the first time, so we figured we'd give it a shot. Bruce, let's begin. So first, Model is 200 RK, 200 MK. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 24 feet, 11 inches. The dry weight is 5,404 pounds. And will that hitch weight? 480 pounds. Perfect, always remember, you wanna use weight distribution bars no matter what. Right here, we do have the lipper component, uh, power tongue jack right here. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. Come on in, Bruce. Don't be shy back there, come on in. Right over here, this is a wood frame with aluminum corrugated side. That's why we call it entry level, but it's not entry level. This is just a, a great price point unit. It's exactly. a lot less expensive than that aluminum frame fiberglass size. We got some storage here. A nice thing that Grand Design does unique in the industry is they have a, a crystal coated finish on their exterior. Okay. So it's a little bit more scratch resistant. It's okay. actually oh. dent resistant. And if you feel this, you can actually feel it's got a completely different finish than a different style of aluminum travel trailer that's out there on the market. So it's, it's got some uniquenesses there. Okay. And it's a little more smooth than a typical, right. you know, corrugated siding. Very nice. We do have storage right here. This one's locked, but we will show it to you on the other side. And Bruce, how big was that? 43 cubic feet. Wow. Of storage in that front storage capacity. Tons of storage, especially for a smaller travel trailer. Right here is going to be your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And then we do have four point stabilizing jacks that are manual. And there's a propane. And these are not power jacks. So as some people prefer these, these jacks, when you crank these down, they actually secure the feel of the trailer much better. Power jacks, we've had some people say that with the power jacks, they continually release. Yeah. And every day you're having to re-tighten them as you walk around inside the trailer. Interesting. They do a nice job. Take your cordless screw gun, put the little adapter on the end, put them down. It stays nice and snug the whole time while you're camping. Perfect. I didn't know that feature. I didn't either. As Matt's putting out this awning, uh, I want to show one thing that people sometimes forget is with a power awning, uh, sometimes you leave this out and you're like, how do I pitch this? You know, when I had my manual awning, I could always pitch it so that I could leave it out in the rain. All you do is grab this, pull this down, and it'll actually give some pitch, some water runoff. So you can have it pitch away from your door. So if your patio uh, and your picnic table's here, you still have the pitch ability to it. And you can do it on both ends. So if you have a strong, we always recommend put the awning up if it's a power awning during a storm. Don't want to have wind damage, pull this thing and throw it over the top. Right. But you can pitch both sides and it allows you to put your patio lights on here too. Yeah. Oh, cool. Lower on here very nice and then right over here we do have these aluminum fold-up steps you know how we feel about that we'll talk about that a little later the armor underbelly package so that means it's enclosed i don't think it's heated right this is not not right. heated but it is enclosed and that's going to help with rodents and stuff like that and then look at these tires will they're the west lakes i love those st 205-75 r15 and we do have Dexter axles right there. Coming on down the side here, you do have a place if you want to have TV on the outside. And then right over here is your water heater. 
coming around the back. We do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera system. And we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. Bruce, let's go up there and take a look. You want Bruce up there too? No, I'm just <laughs> Bruce, what are you doing up here? So, one thing I want to show on a Transcend is, you know, people talk about solar. Yes. And Grand Design does a great job. All of their Transcend units now come with the solar package. Nice. So with the solar, you're getting the big panel on it. You're getting the control panel, and it's already standard from the factory. So it's not something that you have to get up here and do yourself. Nice. They do a great job with the self-leveling compound, making sure that it's secure. You're not going to have spots where it's brought to the roof where it could potentially leak. And then on your TV antenna, no longer do you have a crank up TV antenna. Yep. It's more of an omnidirectional antenna from Weingart. Yep. It gives you a really, really good signal. Right here is your Furion air conditioning unit, 13.5. You can upgrade it to the 15K. And then what's going on right there? So you got two spots where you have more light coming in, okay, with your skylights, and you have three opening vents to get some air flowing on, on the inside. And you notice both of us are up here. We're both pretty big guys. Yeah, hell yeah, this America. This is a walkable roof. So this is a full decked walkable roof up here. Well, hang on a second. Will, come on up here. <laughs> all right let's go on down bruce is so much more graceful getting up and down the ladder than you yeah well i'm fatter than bruce <laughs> i've done it for years <laughs> great and if you haven't already make sure you smash that thumbs up button one of the rv salesmen's going to come to grand rapids michigan get his brute boss up on the roof and take his fat ass up on the roof as well nobody nobody finish you go we do have uh 30 amp power cord here, single AC unit. Right here is going to be a place where you hook up your water. And right there is where you dump your black and gray tank. And then finishing up down here, look at this. Towed up by a magnet. Look at that storage. That's Very awesome. nice. Tons of storage there. You have your fresh tank fill, your city fill, cable and satellite hookup, and a battery disconnect right there. Very nice. Well, Will, well, Bruce. The outside of this child trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. We'll skip around, Bruce. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old. And we'll let Bruce take over on the inside for a little bit. Okay. All right. One thing on this floor plan everybody notices and they walk in, and this is a, a smaller travel trailer, but notice the amount of floor space in this thing. It's huge. Yeah. It's very very spacious uh this trailer tour does this floor plan comes with the u-shaped dinette so oh. if you're one that you want something smaller you need the extra sleeping capacity the u-shape is standard we option in and we upgrade this to Oops. the reclining sofa triple cushion recliner sofa. yeah and all three recline. well set that up on tripod mode okay thomas paint furniture easy three big guys three Excuse my language, fat asses can sit on this <laughs> together. Oh, we're about Ready? to find out. Come on, Will. There we oh, go. Yeah, man, this is yeah. So, and right across from here is we have the TV. I feel like I'm on a, a Spirit Airlines flight. So, when we're <laughs> under 25 feet, we still got plenty of room. When we're sitting in here, you still don't feel like you're closing and tightened down. Yeah. Right. Look at the massive bank of storage in this even though this is again it's a smaller travel trailer yep but you're not sacrificing storage storage is a big 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 thing in a lot of uh, people's needs with smaller look at all the overhead cabinets oh yeah and the depth of these you know is quite large yeah you can fit a full-size dinner plate in these and not have to squish down and have cheap plates for sure for sure what i like about this as well is look at the amount of countertop space yeah there. that's awesome like you didn't need this to be countertop space but they did it anyway because more is more more is better right and i'm not sure if bruce said it but those theater seats was directly across to a good viewing angle of the television for sure i want to show the ceiling height in this too yep will is six three six three and you still have what a good four height. inches above yeah. your head yep doesn't yep. feel closed in or anything yep. so let's try the shower will all right that's oh, one man. thing in this floor plan i want you to stand up in that and show everybody the space that's in this the pan on this is an extra large pan base and with that will plenty of head height still has headroom plenty still of, has width yeah everywhere second shower seal of approval sure does oh 
Show the shower door there, Will, if you would. All right, right there. So it's not a cheap curtain. It's actually a door that folds back. And Bruce, you need to hold it for a second. Will needs to bang. Ready? Oh, no, no, no. Just show Will. Bing a bing. Right here. Bing! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So a great shower and a small travel trailer. Cool. So um, we kind of like went in the middle there. <laughs> but it's Sorry, okay. I threw you for a curve. It threw, threw a for a curve ball. Okay, well, let's show what's going on over here. Okay. Uh, over here in this bedroom area, really nice. As Bruce was saying, very big open concept. Yes. Okay. I love on a smaller travel trailer how there's not a sectional wall. Yeah, you it don't need it. It makes it big and spacious. You have plenty of space to walk around the bed. And very big cabinetry all the way around. There, and then same thing on this side. Yep. <clears throat> and then we do have storage underneath the bed. Well, well you know what we're going to do? What's that? It's now time for the MSRP. Okay. MSRP on this travel trailer here is... That's really not bad at all. $26,241 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently have a sale price advertised because Grand Design won't let us. But Will, Bruce, if somebody's interested in this grand design transcend and they want to get one of the best prices in america we are one of if not the grand designs top dealership tell everybody what to do will they can call they can text they can email they can facetime hey 301-906-0962 that is my personal cell or go to mattsrvreviews.com there you'll see three contact me tabs if you're ready to buy a grand design click tab number one that takes you to General RV, fill out that form, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this Transcend, not a problem. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself. We will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours to answer your questions if you're not ready to buy yet. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. It doesn't matter if they go to Jacksonville, Richmond, Virginia, or Grand Rapids, Michigan. What's the one thing they'll always get as long as they use the Matt Cash form? The best price in America. Well, let's continue the video. All right. I guess I'll show the rest of the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, Bruce touched on most of it, but I think we got these drawers, with nice drawers here, kind of incorporated in with the living space as well. Yeah. Which I, I love that. You guys saw a couple days ago, I mentioned that as one of my likes on, a, on another trailer. Plenty of storage up top. Huge, huge. Nice single bowl sink with yep. a little spray faucet and a little spot for your sponges and a little bit of storage underneath the sink as well. Now, Bruce, you know what else I'm noticing in here? No vents in the floor. No vents in the floor. Very little carpeting. Yep. Easy to clean. Yep. Super, super functional. Yep. For sure. Nice feature there. Nice Furion microwave. Okay. Right there. A little bit of storage up top. Nice Furion range hood as well. Mm hmm and a three burner Furion cooktop with the blue lights. Is that a Furion fridge behind you? It sure is. Okay, so Furion, Furion everything. Yep, 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 nice. And oven right there with the drawer, nice big drawer below. Okay. Got a little bit of storage right here. Yeah, a little corner Oh, and storage. it passes all the way through. Okay, okay. And it's also accessible right there. You yep. can probably see. Nice window here on your campsite, let in some fresh air, some natural light. And a little bit more counter space. Not really like workable, but you you can definitely set Coffee stuff pots, there out of your way. Uh, uh, not a dry fryer, air fryer. Air fryer you know, you like can put yep. crock pots back there. And then a nice Furion. Um, what is this? The compressor fridge. Right? Compressor fridge. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Cool. Great. Well, we already did the shower test. It's now time for the toilet test. Okay. Okay. Your sink area, medicine cabinet. Right. Just yep. mixing it all up sink right there it's amazing how you still had enough headspace with the uh with that heat stuff up yeah. yeah wow porcelain toilet honestly truly plenty of space well this is a prime pooping position Bing! Cool. very nice and as nice as it is well and as great as it is and as small as it is and as compact as it is it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Yes. Okay. All right. Hey, Bruce, do you want to give the dislikes or me? I'm going to have you do the dislikes. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, dislike number one. We yeah. do not like these aluminum fold-up steps. We much 100% prefer the fold-up steps, the solid steps. We don't care if it's Lippard, we don't care if it's more ride, just whatever the solid steps are, that's what we prefer. So that is number one. I have a number two. Okay, go ahead. Do you have a number two? I don't, yeah, I'm still Okay, thinking. you ready for this? Yep. I hate this TV. Do you? So my opinion, and Bruce, maybe you can uh, fill me in here. Furion's claim to fame when they first came on was their TVs, right? Indestructible. Right. Yep. I love that they did Furion, Furion, Ooh. Furion, Furion sound system, but they should have just done the Furion TV because then, here's the deal. Your fridge, all this stuff is susceptible to breaking. And when it's one manufacturer of Furion that you have to call, it doesn't matter if it's your TC, TV or air conditioning or your oven, and TCL just now throws it all off because if there is an issue, who do you call? Do you call Furion? Do you call TCL? So I like when it's all one brand specific. Right. So that is number two. So number three, you know, now that we've been thinking about it for a while, this is kind of tight back here yeah. to get to that storage back there. And then also this fridge, it's, you know, a little tight to be, you know, right next. It's it's a little tight right here. Yep. With it's your not of your oven, your microwave, and your fridge all right in that corner. Correct. Not a huge deal. 100% not a deal breaker. For sure. But it is just, it was hard to find a third dislike, to be honest with you. Yeah. We were thinking <laughs> for about five minutes, 10 minutes off camera. Great. So that was tough. That was three things we don't like about it. But Bruce, it's now time for three things you love about it. Go ahead, Bruce. Okay, three things that I really like. Number one, this is a small travel trailer. Um, I prefer with my family, we prefer smaller because okay. we like to go more rustic yep. camping. Okay. Yep. I look at this floor plan and look at the, the floor space that's in this thing. It's incredible. It's so huge. if you have three or four people in this, it still works. Yeah. You can have the availability of the U-shaped dinette or I really like this sofa. I just think it's a super comfortable application, this mm -hmm. floor plan for a lot of customers that that don't want big, but still want comfort. Yep. And quite honestly, most people eat outside. That's why you're yep. going away is to exactly. eat outside. So why wouldn't you do this option? That's why we've chosen to upgrade all these. Okay? 100%. And for that rare occasion that you are eating inside. You still got the table. You have this table right yeah. here. Yeah. And it's yeah. a big heavy duty table too. And this table does fold up, stores right underneath the bed. Super simple. Great. So that's one. Number two. I think for the people that really enjoy cooking, yeah, oh for yeah. sure. look at the massive amount. You got a spot for your toaster, spot for your coffee maker. Huge. You can still do prep work. You've got the glass top that flips over, give you a little bit more workspace here. I love the farm style sink. Super, super, super inviting for people that really want to enjoy the cooking part of it. Yeah. Um, the other part, number three for me, has got to be the shower. Oh yeah. Uh, this shower pan, you know, Will and I are big guys. This shower still works. Plenty of headroom, plenty of room to, to snap the towel to get your back dried, wipe your body off. It's not a tight bathroom. And in this bathroom, possibly 3.2, my, my point <laughs> two number would be the storage. You yeah. got a spot to put towels in here. You got a little Bruce, did you just up. combo? I did, I'm Only sorry. I, can I combined combo. it. <laughs> So, yeah, mm, that storage is huge. Great functional bathroom. Just the, the floor plan really works for the size of trailer that it is. And if we are gonna combo, we will do another combo. Uh in in wood framed, in wood frame aluminum corrugated sides, the fact that they gave you a porcelain toilet was absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. Let's step outside, Will. It's kinda hot. Well everyone, that was that two or three? That, that was three. That was oh, three. okay. We did it. Yeah. Well, everyone, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. Bruce, thank you so much for being a supporting boss. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, thanks for being in the video. Gotcha. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please call, text, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell phone. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of those three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a couple's travel trailer like this, in a few seconds, we're going to put its competitors right there and there for you to see. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course.
All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I've really found that I, I just love the Transcend. It's just really good value for your dollar. Amazing. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it as well. Make sure to let us know down in the comments below. Tell us three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Happy to see everybody so much for watching. Thank you, Bruce, for having thanks, us buddy. in Michigan. And Will, we'll see you next time.